Yeah, see, I tried this. I couldn't get it to work. There we go. All right, talk to me. Hey, Tom, how's life in the fast lane? All right. All right. Let me pull in. 89% off 18 karat gold gold plated rosary. Screw that. Oh. Right, so gold just kind of talk, you know, a little strong. Not okay. Just a little stronger than normal, but not like, ar, 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 ar. You, know, you don't have to get really loud or anything. But, you know, the main thing I'm interested in is if I, act, if, I ask you a, if I ask you a question, don't really look at the camera, you know. And don't, don't stand still either. You can move around. You got about this much space on either side where you can kind of move around and talk and gesture and blah, 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 you know. All right. So, but basically, you know, we need to get you to introduce yourself, you know. But, you know, I'm, I'm Dr. James Askew and... And you know, uh, I love whatever you know, and I'll, and I'll ask you some questions, and, I, and I'll try not to talk over you unless I think what you said was shit. And, 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 That's fair. That's and fair. then, and you know, but but the main thing is, is is try to you know when you when you answer me, uh -huh. wait for me to stop talking. You know, and then start talking because I don't want you to start talking well, before I end. What I'm saying, because we everybody tends to kind of talk over each other in the last half second of the first person's whatever they said. You follow me? It's just natural, it's like a flow. But if you do that, I can't edit that properly. You'll hear part of, you'll hear like the last part of the syllabus or s syllable of the last word I said. You know, like by going, "How do you do that?" and you start talking a half second before I finish the word "that," you'll hear. T right as you start to talk and you know there's just no way to fix that so okay. but anyway so the basic thing is is mm. you know tell us who you are and and what got you started in veterinary medicine okay my name is James Askew uh, James M Askew Jr. the M stands for Moss for those of you who haven't heard that one before um, I want to be a veterinarian my whole life uh, I was born in one of those musical families. I was really under the impression as a musician that I probably wasn't smart enough to be a doctor. I don't know who told me this. I can blame it on no one, but this is what I heard. And somewhere along the line, I realized uh, many years later that I wasn't so dumb. Uh, it feels I feel like I've been trained my whole life to be a veterinarian. I had every animal encyclopedia when I was a kid. They gave me a dissecting kit with specimens. I had a Jerusalem cricket in a bottle. I had a, a, a giant African earthworm in a bottle, I had an octopus, which I can still visualize to this day as one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a jar, and uh, for some strange reason I liked my specimens so much I dissected everything else out of the neighborhood, so if there's any slug enthusiasts out there, I'm sorry, I, I, I slaughtered a few of your buddies. Um, <laughs> the good news is that knowledge did not go wasted, I still use it to this day in my invertebrate medicine. Um, uh, so anyway, I was a musician for most of my life. I sang for a lot of rock bands, uh, traveled quite a bit, uh, but I decided somewhere later on, after you know working with a, a working with a friend, that it was time to try something different. I called my dad and said, "I want to go back to school," and it's probably one of the best things he's ever heard come out of my mouth. So uh, I went back to school, and here I am now. I'm a doctor. Uh, how, how did how did you 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 your uh, close family or like your dad and your mom and all and the, and they had you, a stepmom too right yes um, yes Jackie I, love Jackie miss Jackie how how did they feel about your rock star a aspirations I I don't think they'd have thought anything strange I mean I've been doing that since I was a kid so it was like you know shovel off the buffalo let's see if you can make it work and. And I did it for a long time, and I thought it was getting close. But somewhere along the line, I just decided it was back to, back to animals again. So, love the animals. Hold on a second. 